Yes, yes, yes. I chose to sit outside today. I wish I could sit. It's a I'm beautiful jealous. afternoon. Well, first of all, good morning slash good afternoon. Good afternoon <laughs> slash good morning to you. And I am super jealous because you can sit outside. I woke up and it was snowing outside today. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, oh, um, no. yeah, so I mean, it's all right. Letter that we're going through, you guys, on top of all of it, you going through that. Yebo, yebo. But it's terribly cold. It, you know what's funny? It's not cold. It's actually not that cold today. It's just it's a late, it's a spring um little snow shower. It's nothing much. But good morning, good morning, good afternoon. I see everybody's tuning in. Um Hello, everybody. Be alive. Yes, yes, yes. See, so I thank you so much. Today is a, it's a beautiful day, like all mm. other Saturdays that um, we, we, we are always um, connecting on. So my makeup, by the way, I didn't do this makeup. I was at work earlier. So <laughs> <laughs> Uzal, we are shooting Uzalo, and I know it's going to be off the screens for about five weeks, but we are shooting Uzalo, and so I was at work earlier on today, and that's why I kept my makeup. For, for the live. <laughs> Let's tell those who are wondering what is Uzalo. I'm going to spell that out for you. It's U-Z-A-L-O. Uzalo. It's a show in South Africa. You can find it on YouTube. Um, this is the acclaimed actress, Dawn Tundega King. Um, nominated, all types of things. Uh, and Uzalo, the show we're talking about, just crushed viewership records in the month of April um, during this pandemic. And I'm confident they are going to incorporate um, these current situations as they start shooting another season. I'm just jealous that I don't have my own makeup person, so I'm just Vaseline. <laughs> this is just pure Vaseline. And, and you look shower. just as handsome. You look yeah. just as handsome. Hey, thank you, thank you. Shout out, though. Um, listen, Don, <laughs> um, first and foremost, let, let's start off again. Thank you so much for everybody spending your morning, afternoon, whatever it is that you are doing here. Um, a few disclaimers, we are not professionals. Uh, stating in, uh, in the States, Don, uh, we are just two human beings who are going through similar things that you are and looking to stay on this platform um, and really talk about spiritual and mental health during yes. COVID-19. But we've realized it's not just during COVID-19, it is the new norm. So we need to prepare ourselves, arm ourselves, mm -hmm. for what does it look like as we continue on and try to resolve this. Yeah, in fact... In fact, this particular platform, we're going to carry on doing this post-COVID-19, if that will ever happen. But yeah. post-COVID-19, we will still be speaking about mental and spiritual health because it is um, something very important. It is something that often is not paid attention to, but mm. people do go through all sorts of, of things that affect them mentally people go through all sorts of things that affect them spiritually. And so mm. it is very important for us to be speaking about such things, especially during this time. Mm. And also that today, I think we, we, it, we must introduce our topic. And yes. the topic basically is gratitude today because mm. it, is, it is very important to be grateful at a time like this. I know everyone focuses on the the negatives mm. and we forget to realize that there's so much happening. And I know you and I have, have already spoken about um, a, a few things that we're going to ma mention, which are under gratitude and mm. one of which I will start. And then you also have your own angle. I know uh, I'm, I'm just grateful for life. I'm grateful for life itself because I think often we take life, for granted and yes. i think covid 19 and the lockdown has made us realize how important life is right. and you think you think you know it all and then you hear something like a young man was killed because somebody um suspected him of breaking into a a a, a bar or a tavern to steal alcohol and money mm. at such a time and because they were suspecting him. They got hold of him and they wanted to question him and find out if he indeed did that. And he mm. was beaten to a pulp until he was unconscious and oh. he eventually died. And so I would like to send my condolences 
to the family. You know, oh. saying the guy's name, the boy's name. He was 16 years old, and his oh. name is Andile. And I remember just the name Andy Lembutu, and he was um, famously known as Bobo. So there's been in the in the so in, in the social media circles, people have been sending condolences to the family. So it's been the hashtag has been hashtag R.I.P. Bobo. So that is why I say one needs to be grateful for life itself yeah. because. There are some people who take life for granted. There are some people who think that they can just take life away just like that. Life mm. of a young man, a young man that could have grown up and become something, something amazing in, mm. in our society. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't know about that one, Don. And um, I, I want to send my prayers and, and thoughts of comfort to the family of um, war and, and certainly rest in peace and to those cowards who, who did such a senseless crime um, may justice be served to its fullest potential on you um, and that's all I'll say about that um, I agree with you, I'm thankful for life um, and, and gratitude you talked about this last week I believe it was when you mentioned that let, let's wake up, the first thing you ought to wake up and think of is thank you because you actually are able to wake up and have a thought, don't wake up and reach to check your message because you sent your crush a message last night or whatever yeah. it is and waiting for it. I know it seems like the most important thing, but the most important thing is simply to wake up and say, thank you. Right. Um, so condolences on the young man. Um, and, and sorry, sorry, that before you continue and someone hmm. says, yeah, and they chopped his body and put him in a plastic bag okay. and threw it in the river. Like, Jeez. we are not only hmm. going through a very difficult and confusing time, but there, there's a family out there who is going through this trauma. Ah, um, it saddens me. Um, and, and I was, you know, I was paying the details. Growing up, I, I certainly did a lot of knucklehead stuff that probably could have put my life in danger. So I, I'm thankful for my savior to to have guided me through all these years, even when I didn't know um, to be where I am, to see my late thirties. Um, but also as a black man, and I'm not going to get controversial here, but I'm just going to speak my honest truth as we are speaking about gratitude. I am thankful um, as a black man currently living in, in America that I'm alive um, because I've certainly been in situations where it, it could have turned otherwise. So I want to say um, rest in peace, Ahmad Abre. Happy belated birthday yesterday. Uh, for those who don't know, he's a young man out in Georgia who was out for a jog. What everybody's probably trying to do nowadays, a simple jog in his in the neighborhood. Um, and the two cowards, I won't mention them by name, father and son duo, took it upon themselves to chase him down, um, make false claims that there'd been break-ins in the neighborhood. So such a similar story. Um, and, and as he tried to run away and protect himself, they then murdered him um, and shot him. Um, I, I can tell you as we speak about spiritual my, and mental health and, and on the first episode, we say, talk to somebody. So mm -hmm. I actually was struggling um, this week and I spoke to a few of my mentors, Don being one of them. And I called her yesterday because I was just going through it. Um, mm -hmm. Certain fears, certain things I'm thinking of. Um, I'm a black man wearing a mask now at night. What does that mean? So throughout this whole process, those two men have now been arrested. Mind you, this took place in February. They are only now being arrested this week and it's simply because of public outcry. Um, so mm. the unity does matter. Um, and I, I pray, I see some people um, are commenting on it. So prayers yeah. and let justice be served to the maximum. Um, we are sick and tired of it. And I, and I want to share one quick thing, Don, that as we speak of gratitude, um, Ubuntu, we've spoken about this in the show. Ubuntu is yeah. humanity towards others, right? You, humanity towards others. And mm. I had the most... Um, as I was going through it uh, at work yesterday, I received an email from one of my mentors. He's a white gentleman, um, uh, head of a department in my, in my company. And he reached out simply as, I don't want to say an ally, but simply to say, I don't know what you're going through at work right now. I'm sorry for the current situation. And I want to say I'm here for you uh, to listen. And sometimes to, to our counterparts, um, um, other races, you may not have all the answers, but we just simply need you to empathize with us. Understand mm. that this causes great concern. So again, we're talking about gratitude. I don't want to sadden everybody, but this is the great yeah. reality that in addition to COVID-19. We just, wanted, we just wanted to yeah. and, and send our condolences to the families so that we make people realize that this platform is 
it's it's a platform where we bring attention to certain things we bring attention to certain uh news that is happening that has a, that has affected yeah. people around us um we bring uh, attention to the fact that we need to you know we we need to reach deep inside ourselves and 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 remember that we are spirit first we are spiritual beings having yes. a human experience so yeah. we need we need to also take care of each other in as much as we are taking care of ourselves we need mm-hmm. to take care of each other and in taking care of each other i suppose this is where love comes in and i'm grateful for love because uh. love is a thing i'm grateful for the love that surrounds me in my home the love from my children i am grateful for love and it is it is from love that one would be empathetic it is from love that you be sympathetic towards other mm-hmm. people so i am grateful for love that, that is my second um thing that i'm grateful for 